This is the plaintiff, Giselle Barbosa. She says she went to the defendant's nail salon and was overcharged 10 bucks on a manicure. If that weren't bad enough, they cut her finger, which caused extensive bleeding and pain. She lost out on modeling jobs because her hand was swollen and bloody. She's shocked at the defendant's negligence and is suing for $9,932 for pain and suffering and loss of modeling work. These are the defendants, Min and Con Win. Con says the plaintiff was completely satisfied with her nails when she left the salon. This is a clear case of harassment. Three days later, the plaintiff calls complaining of a bleeding nail. They told her to come in. She said she was suing, and now she's trying to shake them down for $10,000. Please! They believe in the American justice system, and they have faith in the judge that she'll see this for what it is, a money grab. They're accused of causing bodily injury. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn now. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Ms. Barbosa, you are suing Natural Beauty Salon, represented here by Min Win and Con Win. Okay. For $9,932 that you want uh, paid to you because they injured you doing a manicure. Yes. What happened? Okay, so on March 8th, I uh, went to the beauty salon. I recently moved from Hawaii, so um, I wasn't familiar with the area. I saw an advertisement for $22 for gel enhancement nails. I went to the nail salon, asked them if they could give me the gel nails. They said yes. Um, I picked up my color, and then um, they started doing my nails. And then all of a sudden, um, my mom, she says, oh, 15 months go by. They, she asks, are they going to start doing your nails? Because they're just painting my nails. They weren't putting the enhancements on. Okay. They were just they were paint putting them. paint on your nails. Yes. So do you think they misunderstood your request? Because you had asked for gel, which is a different process. Uh, I don't know. When I first went to the salon, they okay. told me they could do gel nails. Gel enhancement. Gel enhancement nails. What are gel enhancement nails? Fake nails? Yes, fake nails. Oh. Instead of acrylic, there's gel enhancement. Yeah. OK. And it's and advertised on there. Yeah. May I see the advertisement? Uh, yes. And then? And then um, they tell me no, that this is all that they have. So then. So then they start I'm doing. Sorry, where was this picture taken? Uh, in front of their salon. I also Where does it say gel enhancement nails? Uh, the very last one, I think. No, that says gel pedicure and gel manicure. A gel manicure is a certain type of polish that goes under the UV light. I do it all the time. That's yeah. what a gel manicure is. Yeah. Right? OK, yeah. so what is it you feel they were giving you that they shouldn't have given you? Mom, you're going to have to, how old are you? I'm 21. OK. I, I would do it too. I have a 21-year-old. <laughs> I get it. But just I'll, I'll get to you in a minute if there's anything we need to get to. Go ahead. They weren't painting the, my nails the way that I wanted them to. They what were giving, was it you wanted? They were giving me. You want, so I'm going to need you to stop coaching her. Ma'am, yeah. I'm going to have you take a seat. Sure. I'm going to need you to take a seat. All right. What did you want to have done when you walked in? Just um, fake nails, nail They're extensions. fake nails. Yes. All right. And then the fake nails go on your nail. Yes. And then what else happens? Is there a polish that goes on that or something? Uh, yeah, there's a polish that goes on it. You could paint it with different type of nail polishes. You can have uh, just a normal nail polish or a specific nail polish that you put under the UV light that you were Okay, about. but it's an actual fake nail that goes on top? Uh, yeah. Yes. If you coach your daughter once more, I'm going to remove you from the room. You just told her to say yes. You are going to have to exercise self-control or I'm going to remove you if you coach her one more time. Do we understand each other? Can't hear you. I need an audible answer or I'll ask you oh, out sure. now. sure. Okay, good. All right. What happened while, you, while they were doing your manicure? Okay, he proceeded to um, cut my nails. Who is it? By the way, is he the one who did your nails or no? No. no okay, okay, go No, ahead. so it was, um, I never met them. It was different people there. So um, they proceed to do my nails, and then all of a sudden, um, I feel a pinch, a cut on my finger, and I start bleeding. And I ask, oh, what's going on? Is everything okay? He tells me it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It should be okay. And this happens three different times while I'm getting my nails done. My hands are bleeding. I have Wait, pictures. It, three different cuts? Yeah, three different cuts on three different fingers. OK. And this is a month later, and I still have scars on my fingers. I Wait, I'm sorry, hold on. What's a month later? Today is a month later, you said? Yes. OK, and you still have scars on your fingers? Yes. I need you to come forward. Yeah. 
Right here. Please. Okay. Okay. Where are your cuts? Uh, right here. You can see. Where are you talking about? Right here. The On the nail itself? Yes. And my nail's painted, and this is a month later after putting ointment on. What what cut that on your nail itself? Do you know what tool they were using? No, but it was an extremely painful process, and you could still see that my nail's indented right there, bruised. Yeah. Why'd you bring nail polish today if you want to show me something on your nail? Because, you know, as I look at it, I have no idea if this is a bad nail job or if it's a cut, but I'm going to assume that your nail is cut there, yes. and then I'm going to need you to explain to me how your nail was cut there and you cannot. All right, and then what, where else were you, were you cut? Um, I have a picture, but you can still see the scar right here on my finger. And this is a while later. Sh point to me exactly where. Right here, underneath, right there. And where else did they cut you? Um, the rest of the scar is healed, but it was on my different hands, different okay. fingers. And did you take, go ahead and go back. Okay. And did you um, take pictures uh, I have a picture right here. This is a couple days later. So that's that's your cut, and you took this one when? Uh, two, three days later. So tell me, uh, did you mention anything to them when they cut you? Like, did you? Uh, yeah, and he told me it would be fine. It would right. clear up. He put ointment on it. My problem is, is that. The next day, I went to the doctors to see the doctors. It was too long of a line, so then I went and bought over-the-counter medication. What kind of medication? Um, ointment, just for my fingers, and then just like Tylenol. Okay. And then I call them, and they don't pick up. I tried to reach them several different times, but they told me that they would not only re not remove the finger, uh, the nails, because it was embedded into my skin in the picture that you saw, but also they Wait, wouldn't. Wait, they wouldn't. They wouldn't what? Remove the nails. I asked them if they can trim the nails, cut cut them in any type of way so that... Okay, but now I'm lost. What process did you... First of all, the person who did her nails is not here, correct? That is correct. What, what did she have done? Because she's talking about removing nails, but I thought that you had told me that they just ended up doing... Polish. The is polish what... and then putting it under the UV ray. That's no. what I asked you. No, that's what they started, and then eventually they put on... Acrylic a... nails? Yes. So you ended up with acrylic nails? Yes. So go on. And then I call them and see, because they overcharged me. They charged me $32 when originally, on the advertisement, the whole point I went because it was $22. And then they tell me that, no, this is what I have to pay, it's $32. All right, do you know who did her nails? Yes. Okay. Um, but you didn't bring a letter from that gentleman about what happened with the nails? Yes, we do have a letter. Okay. And what does that gentleman say? Give me anything you want me to see from any witnesses that were there yeah. at the time. So this one is from, does, does this individual speak English? No. Then why am I seeing a... Um, it was a translated line. by his wife. By his wife? How do yes. I know she got it right? On March 8th, there was a lady customer who came to the natural beauty salon with her daughter requesting to have a manicured gel for her daughter, then changed her mind, requested to have fake nails done also. In the process of working on the fake nails, her pinky got a minor scratch. Is it your pinky? Yeah. Okay, got a minor scratch, so I immediately applied the solution. Did they do that? Did they put that little yes. stick um, to avoid infection, continue working on her nails? She was quite satisfied mm -hmm. and left. All right, mom, you wanna come on up and testify? You were with your daughter during this? She showed me her fingers. She said, oh my goodness, he cut a few of my fingers, and I see that she's bleeding. And. Um, but you only took a picture of one cut? I have. a on my phone a picture of a couple more fingers that were cut. Okay, let me see those pictures. I'd love to see those. So we're waiting for the pictures and then um, I'm gonna need to understand, I understand the $32 part of your lawsuit. I'm not understanding the $9,900 part, so you're gonna need to explain it. Yeah, for pain and suffering, but also um, modeling casting jobs. I missed out on a lot of jobs because I was in pain trying to handle- You had a cut on your nail from a manicure. You know, hopefully it's only one out of 30, 40 times, but that happens and it's uncomfortable and you get mad and then you never go back to the salon yeah. when that happens, especially if they don't have the requisite remorse when it happens. But it does, it sounds like this guy was like, oh, sorry, and put this, the thing on, the septic, the pencil on it. What's that pencil called? Antiseptic, oh, yeah, certainly but not it's an antibacterial. Okay, but so um, yeah, it happens, it's not nice, and frankly, I think people shouldn't get charged if that happens. Yeah. I understand that, but what's $9,900 because you missed out on what modeling jobs?
Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So the plaintiff says she lost $10,000 in modeling jobs because of a cut finger in a nail salon. Can she get that money? Yes, she can. Why? Just she can. Can you model if you have a cut finger? I mean, I don't know how much emphasis we're putting on her hands, but I, I guess it seems all right. 10,000 bucks is all right. I don't know. You would give 10,000 for a nail salon? Honestly, I just wouldn't want to deal with her having to heckle me the whole time for it. I would just want to pay her and just get her, get her off my hands, you know? You've just given somebody a blueprint for getting 10 grand. Uh, okay, going inside the courtroom. Different modeling castings, but my biggest thing no, is- No, but tell me, I need to hear proof of how you lost, because that's the idea behind a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. If you're suing for $9,900, whose idea was that, your mom's or yours? Idea for what? To sue for $9,000 over a cut and a manicure. It's more than that because the fact I just that want to I... know who wants to testify about it because I don't want, if your mom told you you should do that, I'm going to ask your mom. If you feel that you want to answer, you can answer. I'm just. I would like to answer. Please do. Mm -hmm. How is it $9,900? My daughter did have casting calls in which they were asking her to come in. She felt like she couldn't come in. Is she a hand she was model? Devast no, she's not a hand model. If she's not a hand mm -hmm. model, how on she's earth doing would a tiny little thing It here... wasn't... Uh, you, okay, no, wait. You now I'm going to need proof of all those casting calls she rejected. Do I you have do, any proof? I do have proof of uh, text messages in which they, they called her and said, come on in. And she said, and those text messages, what does she answer? She doesn't answer them. Ah, then that's not proof that she said, I can't, I have a hangnail. Or, you know, I cut, I got a cut in a mat. That's not proof that she missed $9,900. $9, um, listen, continue to have faith in the justice system. This is America. Anybody can sue for whatever they want. But this is nonsense. There's no proof of that kind of damages, and I'm not going to award it to them. But I'm going to tell you to return the $32. Because if you cut her, she should get her money back. All right, and somebody should pay attention to her and try to take her nail polish. All right, that's my verdict. Thank you, Judge. Well, the plaintiff does prevail, but only to the tune of $32 after suing for $9,932. What are you thinking right now about that? I'm thinking the judge, the judge was ridiculous. She didn't listen. I feel like the judge was uh, not very good at her job, and she was... She seemed very irate. She seemed as if she wasn't very... Um, you haven't been to court very often, have you? Um, I think you better go. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well. Does this happen very often to you? Has it no, ever happened before? No, this is the first time it's ever happened to her business. As the judge says, have faith in the American justice system. Okay? Yeah. It still is alive and well. Yes, yes. it is. <laughs> and this is proof, yes, right? Exactly. What just happened. Yes. Well, good. I hope it doesn't happen to you very often again. Oh, we All hope right. so, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Harvey, how about that? What do you think? Okay, I mean, look, this woman, if she were to win, she'd have to prove, number one, that she actually couldn't work, and number two, what she lost, and she loses on both counts. That will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case of the way into the courtroom right now.